Welcome back to the channel, everyone. MJ Scale Modeling. I am Mike, as you know. Um, if you are guys are liking what you're seeing with this channel so far, please like and subscribe. You know, um, I got a bunch of competitions coming up here, and I am uh, I'm really still trying to get these videos out. And uh, you know, yeah, I won't be I won't lose steam if I start getting some likes and subscriptions. So um, I'm I'm still trying to get these out for you guys. So if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Um, but uh, today we are going to do another experiment video. I am going to build a little beacon for my rust bucket uh, truck I'm working on right now. I, I, uh, I, I realized that um, it didn't have a light on top of it, so I am making a little rotating beacon out of a little plastic retention clip that uh, um, came with my uh, son's toy for Easter, a uh, cap off of my wife's hair detangler bottle, and uh, two leftover lenses, uh, headlights from another model. Um, and uh, we're going to uh, see if we can make a, uh, a beacon for the truck. So. Uh, um, little experiment. It might go good. It might go bad. So uh, let's uh, let's get to it and see where we end up. So I actually had three caps I was uh, debating using. I had one from a bottle of apple juice for my daughter, one from water bottle, and then one from my wife's hair detangler. And the one I liked the best was the the one from the hair detangler, but uh, unfortunately it was just way too tall, and uh, so I decided I needed to cut a chunk off of it. But I liked the uh, flanged bottom on it. So I, I didn't want to lose that, so I ended up uh, cutting along the very bottom of it and uh, removing the bottom and then taking off like a quarter of an inch or so and uh, then I reattaching it to the bottom portion uh, so it had that kind of flanged out look for when it sat onto the truck. Next thing I had to do was uh, get that uh, center part of that uh, little packaging retention clip um, out that that was going to be the simulated mechanics of the beacon uh, but I needed it to be right in the middle otherwise it would uh, bump the side of the beacon when I put uh, or the lens when I put the uh, lights on it so it was a little bit of a tedious process trying to get it to work I had to use all of my tools the Dremel the saw just everything but uh, in the end it turned out pretty good Once the center portion fit inside the bottom of the uh, cap, I uh, laid it on a flat surface and uh, super glued it in there and just kind of made sure that it was as level as could be um, to, to so it would sit properly on the truck. I must have accidentally hit the uh, record button twice because I did not record painting the uh, um, inside of the beacon. But long story short, I just mixed a little bit of uh, gloss clear and the gloss orange together and painted the inside of the, uh, the, the globe. And I'm just affixing these lenses to uh, the rotating beacon with a little bit of super glue. I do a little modifying on them, but they turned out just, just perfect. So because my saw wouldn't go all the way through the cap as I was cutting, I had to rotate it. So it was a little bit uneven cuts on it. So it kind of had a little bit of a kitty wampus feel to it. But my uh, first service truck I ever had, uh, the company I work at, had a, uh, um, a big rotating beacon like that on top of it. So um, they had a little ring that would, that would, a uh, silver ring that would go around it and it would lock the globe onto the beacon itself. So I decided to try to use a little bit of Tamiya tape here, uh, painted with some chrome, to kind of simulate that ring around it to kind of cover up that uh, that edge that was a little bit uh, a little bit too um, uneven for uh, my liking. Ok 
Okay, guys, thanks a lot for sticking with me to the end again. Um, I think we had a pretty successful experiment again here. I think we got a pretty cool, old-timey looking beacon made out of that uh, that junk I had. So, a good little scratch build um, 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 on our kit bash truck. So, I think that turned out pretty dang good for uh, the materials we had. So, uh, you know, if you thought that was kind of fun and you have any other suggestions how I could have made it better, you know, like and subscribe and leave a comment and, uh, you know, let's, like I said, let's learn to build bottles together. So again, really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching another uh, video with me. So, okay, we'll see you in the next one. See ya.